Hey folks, I got something really different today. You might want to see remodeling the pantry. Come on and help. Right here on my take on home and garden. So guys, thanks for coming by. And what I'm going to show you is I'm going to take out the wire racks in the pantry that I can't stand and I'm replacing them with some nice beefy lumber and then I'm gonna paint them and I'm gonna trim the top so let's see what we got going on today okay guys so if you remember our video we showed the pantry when it was just Christmas storage you can see it's pretty packed slammed the idea now that we have an extra bedroom is that we can redo this pantry and put the Christmas things that can't go in the heat, okay, and make a new storage and office in the bedroom. Here is everything removed from the pantry. Those cupboards I put in, they were not there when we bought the house. That table was not there. So those are staying. This is what I'm getting rid of. This wire rack system that bends and rattles and is annoying to me okay so I'm gonna step you through how to take this apart save it give it to somebody keep it nice and save your walls too so here's our new Angela's office And I want to make sure you know she did the flower arrangement <laughs> so you can tell probably but she's so cute she wanted to do one on her own so of course I'll sneak in and do a real nice one for her anyway here's those ovals you saw in a hall to make it nice and homing for her when she's working And who doesn't love this scene? <laughs> From Gone with the Wind, that's the classic. Okay, so we're gonna show you this whole room, here's your workspace. And then we've got these extra nice metal racks loaded with some of the things I use for decor and most of it is Christmas you'll see and recognize some things here of course. Then that build-in shelf which I did for all the bedrooms is just full of our oriental and I can't wait to get that out again and put it together. Some of my favorite stuff, the Asian and Oriental pieces. And it's fun to see everything together. You saw the swans all together, all the different colors. The pink one's downstairs, but... And these are not the bins that are in the garage. <laughs> so just to get an idea and Christmas gets packed up put away now and man did we need this to reorganize and expand and it's it's been fantastic you're gonna see that even more so coming up Now I can put, you know, more like things together 
And even though we put things in the attic and the sheds and the garage, certain things cannot go in that heat, you know, especially in that attic. Now here we go. I want to show you the system. They have a push pin. It looks like a nail. You have to get that out first. And then the expander or butterfly will close back together and pull through that same original hole. The end pockets here I'm working on has two. Just a little wiggle and those will pull out. And you're really going to be happy with me because I'm going to show you, even though I am a drywall guy, I've done it for years. If you just have this hole, you don't even have to get your knife out or your plaster out. You fill those holes with a quick dry caulk, like this Alex Plus that I'm showing here. And now I'll take my finger and just pull away from the hole each different way and just kind of dabble it with your finger around real carefully. You don't want it to dimple in. It, for the most part, it will not shrink bad. If you do have one or two that shrink, put on a little more. Okay, now here's the master woodcutter outside of the, <laughs> the garage. This is the material on two by tens that I had quite a pile I was saving. So this project is costing very little. Paint I keep and save. I mean, originally had to buy it. And with a brand new carbide blade on this saw, these big two by tens cut just like butter. And there he is. I need about 36 of those at 12 inches. And then two different shelf sizes, and then a couple odd ones, like where the garbage goes. Okay, so here's a little trick of mine. I don't know, some of you might know it. You know, they get all these gimmicks and things to oversell you to find the stud in the wall. I use a simple, strong little magnet. All you're doing is finding that nail head or screw head Okay, and that's going to show you where the stud is. It just takes a second. I do have the electronic beeper, you know, but by the time you go get it and make sure the battery works, you can have this all laid out. Look at it. It took nothing. There's your studs. Now I'm using my air gun. the number, I guess a 12 common nail. Put these together. The first couple are really snug, but I like to cut everything ahead all at once. The rest went in like a glove. Here is, to keep the agony down, all put together for you on both walls and then there's a third wall they come out a little funny you see I I left the cupboards I want them we still want a pantry here and my table that I put in and underneath is just some odd shelves too and just enough room for the trash can which I like because, you know, the kitchen's right there. So this is going to be more of a proper butler pantry. And I'll tell you what, you could park your car on that thing now. It's not going anywhere. Here is something I want to share too. This is called a corner roller. It has 
the fibers all over the end of the roller too. So what's the big deal? It saves all that hand brush work. This thing gets in the corner for the most part. You keep paint on the end, the tip, and it's small, so it gets in there. This will really help you. I'm telling you, I painted my whole life, and the first part of my life I didn't, well, they didn't even have them. <laughs> Frankly, they didn't have such a thing. Okay guys, now in a couple of spots, I just want to show you what I'm doing. I got cookbooks, and they used to fill this whole space. We reduced down to this, and a couple more I'm going to put in. Then I've put in a little bit of plate rail. Now I don't want plate rail on every shelf, because look what you need to lean the plate. You know, it reduces the base surface area of your shelf. So I only want a couple of them. And we'll look at that again. And I thought this would be cool to show what's here in the pile. Because we're going to put all our extra dishes in here. See? But again, I only want a couple because for this plate to sit here now, it's off the edge instead of being able to go all the way back. So now, technically, you only have room for your salad plate. But I thought it'd be good looking to get a couple of them in like that. Cookbooks. See how I measured. <laughs> and I thought the, the old great grandma's kitchen and iron might work for a book on there. And you know they come in pairs. <laughs> so there's a new spot for them and give it that old world look. Down below we got our three pot crock pot servers. There's two of them. We love them for the holiday. We got our big turkey roaster pan under here. Some quiche dishes. Any good home. Got a pantry with some backup canned goods and everything else. Now on the back of the door we always have our uh, shopping bags, carry bags, hanging on the back. And you can see I'm just starting to have some fun and be able to put the stuff in the room now that we've made this more of a formal butler's pantry. Okay, that's what we're going for. Now the best part of this is being able to organize and put things together. You know, instead of having three places where vases went, this is the idea now. So far, most of the vases are on the top shelf and they're the nicer stuff. Plates, dinner sets, porcelain ware is all together, crystals together. Here's our nice, neat, tucked in trash bin, cookbooks. You, you know, you move one thing and you can get your book. Depression where there's some more vases and even a little spot up above there's some old recipes and index box of Angela's grandma and I can still get paper products up above 
down here again. Cookware. Here's va heavy vases on the bottom too now. And then you'll see the heavy glass chargers on the bottom. And of course, nothing's sitting on tile. They're sitting on a, a vinyl pad. But this is unique, and we've never been able to show our stock of goodies like this before. So I can easily see what I want, what I need, you know, and put it back when I'm done. Just love the clean look. Didn't want anything in the background, but I, I have put a couple cute things even since. Just stood up in the back. You can see how many terrains we have. <laughs> There's not just one. So, just love our collections, and this is not the seven big dinner sets that are in the dining room. When you have a show, you got to have something to show, and that's what we do, and that's what I've compiled here. So we can change it up, make it interesting, give you some ideas. You have to invest in yourself and your channel, I think, or we think, to be successful. That's what we've done here. So now we're super organized and look like ultra pro <laughs> who wouldn't want this space right and here's a teaser for Ange because we're gonna redo her laundry so guys there's my incredible pantry makeover today if you liked it at all give us a like a share a comment tell a buddy <laughs> thanks guys for coming over Hey, be happy, because we got more decorating coming up. We're doing the loft, and we're heading towards Easter. You know those colors got to come out. Take care, everybody, and we'll see you in the next Over the Top Decorator and Collector video.